Sí, hija, no tuvo ni. ¿Me pido alguien cambiar? ¿Cambiar? Sería, good boy. Give me ball, good boy. Give me other ball, good boy. Down. Good boy. Ok, everybody. This is Oli. So Mr. Oli didn't want to sit there, so we had to change our spot because he loves his bed too much. And since he's the star of the video, I have to sit in this horrible light lighting situation. But anyway, I want to tell you about how I met this angel. I was in Bangalore recently. Uh, for most of you who already follow me on my Instagram, you must have noticed that I was in Bangalore for a bit. Midway through my trip, I was coming out of somewhere with a lot of things in my hands and the reason I'm even going into these details is because you'll understand later why I didn't have to but these were just inner callings that I did certain things and now he's suddenly in my life uh, so yeah that's why I have to go into these minute details so spare me but hear me out uh, so it all starts when I had my hands were full of things and I was coming out of somewhere and I see this puppy literally across the road and when I say it was a massive space between me and him and he's across the road and he's just running around on the streets and I'm like oh what a cute puppy and I'm seeing him from a, like from a very big distance okay and I still felt like oh my god no I want to go and pet him so I go there and upon reaching there I'm like okay he's so cute but he's so weak his ribs are popping out he's confused he's crying he's just following anybody and he's just, he like, he's just unsafe. And then I went to pet him. And again, at this point, I have so many things in my hands. So I'm somehow trying to pet him. And then I realized that this kid has walked in and the kid is trying to trouble him. And he's so small, he shouldn't be troubled. And then this car suddenly started and was taking a reverse. And I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't know the car might hit him. The car doesn't see him because he's so tiny. And I was like, I might disturb him. He cares, but anyway, so the car is trying to take a reverse, and I'm like, Oh my god, oh my god, panic mode because it might just hit him and he might die or he might get injured, whatever. So I try to take him away from that space, and uh, I ask, I, I tried to like make sounds to make him follow me to the room that I was staying at so that at least he's in a much more safer area, if not this. So he follows me midway, he again rushes back to the same spot where I found him. And I'm like, okay, his mother must have been there. So he's just trying to go back. Then I go back there and I see this lady who walks in and she's like, you know, uh, his mother had abandoned him at five o'clock in the morning. And since then he's been just running around here. And I'm like, but this is really not, not safe. So I decided to pick him up and take him to the room side. Now, when I pick him up with, again, these many things in my hand, I'm somehow managing all of this. This man walks up and he's like, um, and I said that, you know, Are, gaadi ke chali to. and he's like, Woz ki kismat. and he said it and said this to me in such a ruthless way that I felt like it's so unfair, you know, that his mother has abandoned him and he's just literally running around and nobody's helping him out. So I picked him up and I got him to the room. How I've gotten him to the room is another story. How I've put him inside my t-shirt and literally walked through the reception as if I'm pregnant or something and just literally sneaked him inside the property. But don't tell anybody that, that I did this. But anyway, I go there and I've got him to the room. I give him milk and I try to comfort him. I wrap him in a towel thinking that that might comfort him. He was looking grey because there were so many mites and ticks on him. Like literally one tick was on his lip, like right here, sucking his blood. It just, it still freaks me out and I try to like manually take all of it out but there were just so many of them that it felt impossible. I got into an Uber, went to the pet store, got tick shampoo, tick powder, a small leash just to like figure out something for him in the future. And I come back, I give him a shower in the same hotel room and uh, then he's tick free and he's looking much healthier and better. Then I go on this search of finding his mom. I am unable to find his mother anywhere because she's nowhere to be found and um, I keep looking for his mom. I found, find this other mother dog 
whose boo who had a few puppies of her own and i thought that they look similar so wow i found his mom and i was capturing a video just to show that they've reunited you know for my own peace of mind i oh yeah and then the mother dog just started attacking him because he was not her child so all of the dogs there started barking at him and just they just charged upon him and he again came back to me running i just put him down for a second and this happened and it really freaked me out and i again got him back to the room and now he's just with me and i'm calling for milk from the hotel room mixing it with water and giving it to him for 2 to 3 days and he's just with me at this point then i take him to the vet after 3 days and 3 uh, days of having him and i told i tell the vet that you know i need him to be vaccinated i might adopt him because i'm also very attached and the vet tells me that he is so 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 weak so sick that a vaccination also might not be a good uh, decision for him right now because the vaccination might kill him as his body's immunity is not that strong to even take the vaccine's load and i was like okay so now what do we do and the doctor's like you have to feed him really well these are some medications that i'm giving you the doctor is really sweet by the way he didn't even want me to pay for the medicines and his whatever consultation and blah 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 so i was like okay okay doc what is the next what are the next steps so he's like okay you feed him well you give him these medications and once he is stronger i'll be able to vaccinate him had he not been rescued from the it would have been difficult for him to make it yeah he so he is lucky he is lucky always <laughs> lucky such a good doctor we found <laughs> such a kind doctor yes i kept feeding him for the next 4 5 days and i kept chatting with the doctor to just give him the progress to to tell him about his health progress and everything finally comes the fourth day and we are able to vaccinate him post which i realized that he might not feel that great after the vaccine so i have to be there for another day to make him feel you know better before we board a flight now for the flight i have to get his documents a new carrier and blah 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 whatever whatever things that you need to carry a pet in a flight and mind you this is the first time i'm traveling on a flight with a puppy so i do all of that and i reach the reach the airport 5 or 6 hours prior and then they tell me that it's 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 on the pilots it's in the it's the commander's decision at the end of it that if uh, if he's fit or not fit to fly and i'm like i have all of his documents what's the problem and this and that to which they are like no we can't give you your boarding card and uh, we can't even put your luggage inside till the time this this thing is cleared up fortunately i realized that murphy's breeder is also in bangalore and uh, i called him about all of the situation and he lives really close by to the airport so i kept a backup plan available uh, outside the airport so that just in case the commander says that he's not fit to fly or whatever i can give him to the the breeder outside waiting and he can send him the next morning uh through cargo and i was i wasn't sure if it's going to be safe for him to be in cargo or not but i just may have made up my mind at that point that i am adopting him so no matter what he is coming with me or coming to me finally 45 minutes before the departure i got a green signal and he was through i quickly took him with all of my luggage and everything and um, got through security got through everything and finally got him to bombay i can't i can't explain what is my joy right now because everything has been cleared and all is coming home the minute i got him to bombay i was feeling like i have achieved something else in life which nothing materialistic nothing nothing related to my career would ever ever get me this was such a fulfilling experience for me because i am very attached to dogs ever since my childhood it doesn't matter what the breed is i have always and this is not a show for anything like that so don't get me wrong i have helped indies all my life i was not allowed to get an indie at home because dogs were just not allowed growing up because of which i couldn't ever have a dog the first dog that i have had is mofi 
and I even felt guilty at that time because I wanted to always adopt an Indian and uh, because of a few restrictions at home, allergies, blah blah blah, I couldn't get uh, an Indian home at that at that point of time. Uh, but anyway, Murphy came into my life and he's nothing but a blessing uh, as well and I, I love him, I love him the most. But this experience has been so beautiful. It felt like a dream come true to especially do this all by myself. It just felt like the most beautiful experience of my life. Welcome to Bombay, Ali. Where are we going? We are going to get Ali groomed, no? Ali is going to go to the groomers. Ali has spent the night with Arjun. Say hello, Arjun. Hello. Hello to my YouTube channel. Hello to your YouTube channel. Hello, fam. What's up? Fam. 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 And once he was in Bombay, I took him to Murphy's doctor here uh, in Bombay and he was perfectly fine after which I made Murphy and Ollie meet which was another <laughs> another chaotic thing to go through we were constantly playing with each other just trying to eat each other's heads off is what I feel with the way they play and yeah I would only promote this to more and more of you uh, if it's in your bandwidth, if you can, please do this, what I've done. And if not, just try to feed as many strays as you can, as many indies you can rescue, you can make sure that they reach a safe spot. Just do that because that's the bare minimum as all Indians uh, that we can do for indies. My only request to all of you is to just do your bit as much as you can. There's no pressure, but just, just try to. The minute I am able to get a big farmhouse or a big space, I still help as much as I can. But it's my dream in life to just literally like have so many indies to just help all of them that they shouldn't go through any of the any of all any of this that they have to go through. So that's it, guys. I don't know. I feel like I've gone on a big big rant about uh, indies, but it's just. So it's it's been such a beautiful experience having him and i wanted to share it with all of you and i hope you enjoy listening to me <laughs> and yeah that's about it he's been nice to see me yeah